Okay, I'm going to continue. We're going to start with um, number three, problem D. It says one minus five eighths equals question mark. So on this one, I'm going to draw a area model. And I see um, five eighths. <clears throat> so I want to make my um, pieces or parts into eighths. You can double check by counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so if I say that um, one minus five eighths, so if the whole is eight eighths, right? And I'm taking away five of them, that's one, two, three, four, five, right? The question is how many are left? Well, I have one, two, three eighths. Okay, so let's look at the next one. Um, this one says, Krista drank 3 16th of the water in the morning, 5 16th in the afternoon, and 3 16th in the evening. What fraction of water was left at the end of the day? So on this one, I could do a few things. I could draw um, a model and make it sixteenths if I wanted to. Let's just do that. So I can draw one. It's going to have a lot of pieces. So let's see if I can do it right. OK, so. Okay, and so you can double count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so it said that she drank three sixteenths of the water in the morning. So that'd be like one, two, three. Actually, let me use a different color so it's not confusing for that. Okay, and then um, five sixteenths in the afternoon. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. And then three sixteenths in the evening. One, two, three. And then the question says, what fraction of water was left at the end of the day? Well, let's see how many sixteenths we have left. One, two, three, four, five. So she has five sixteenths left. She has five sixteenths of water left at the end of the day, right? Okay, let's look at another one. Okay, this one says Mark noticed his bowl at dinner was half full and his brother Matthews was three fourths full. Mark said, my half full bowl. Okay, hold on. Mark said, my half full bowl has more food than your three fourths full bowl. Explain how half of a bowl could be more than three fourths of a bowl. Okay, so let's think this through. This is kind of a reasoning one um, and not really, like, so you know that obviously um, three fourths, like if I was to look at three fourths, three fourths is obviously more than one half of it, right? So then I'd have to go, well, how could it be more? How could one half actually be more than three fourths? Well, this is kind of a logic one. Well, it could be if, Let's say if you were at the three bears house and maybe you had the big papa bear bowl and the other person had the little bowl, right? So wouldn't half be a lot more here than it would be here? So if I had to explain that, I would just say um, the size of Mark's bowl is bigger. It's obviously got to be bigger because otherwise 
there's no way that one half could be more than three four so that was kind of a logic it out kind of thing okay so let's look at the next one um Allie's little sister wanted to help her make some oatmeal cookies first she put five eighths cup of oatmeal in the bowl Next, she added another 5 eighths cup of oatmeal. Finally, she added another 5 eighths cup of oatmeal. How much oatmeal did she put in the bowl? So you could solve this several different ways. You could um, just add it straight across. 5 eighths plus 5 eighths plus 5 eighths. And since they all have the same denominator, I could just go 5, 10, 15. That's 15 eighths. You could also draw a picture of eights. Let's see. And then color in five, two, three, four, five, and then do that again and again. Okay. And then just add up how many eights you have in total. Okay, so either way, um, she eventually had a uh, 15 eighths. So if I wanted to express this number as a uh, mixed fraction, I could say, well, that's the same thing as eight eighths plus, let me think, how many more? Seven eighths. Okay, so then that would be one and seven eighths cups of oatmeal. 